Hello and welcome to my first tutorial video for my new channel. Um, this this channel is mainly just going to be me showing you how to do things on your computer, like make it faster, how to use programs, etc. Um, it, I'm open to like suggestions of what you want me to um, sh help you with, or yeah, just in general. That's what I'm going to be doing. So let's go. To this this video is going to be. Um, Showing you how you can use uh, iTunes, iTunes from Apple, of course. Yeah. So first, you need to go and download it off the website, which is just I'll just show you how you do this. Okay. You can either you can either type Apple in the in Google, or you can just type it in the um, in the address bar at the top. So you just go to you go to go to Apple, the website on Apple, and then you go to iTunes at the top, long bar, just wait for it to load, and just click free download here, I've already got it so I won't be downloading it, but you just click this, follow the on screen, you have to, um, I think you have to, yeah, you have to put your email address in, but yeah, that, that's easy, I'm sure you've all have email addresses, anyway, yeah. so I've already got iTunes, so when it downloads, it's all on your desktop ready, or wherever you download it to, so all you do is open it up, double click, Okay, I've got loads of stuff on here already because this is the iTunes I use. But um, your iTunes, it will come, it will be on this page probably, and there'll be nothing on it. It'll all be, all just be empty. None of this will be on it. It'll just be empty. So you're gonna want to start adding music now. Okay, so what you need to do is you just go File here, File, Add File to Library or Add Folder to Library. If it's just one song, you add File. If you want to add a whole folder. Of songs go add folder so I just want to add one song at the moment so I'll go add file to library and then it will go to this so all you just do is you go libraries or if you're on Windows 7 it's libraries or if it's on um, any other windows it will just be in my computer documents and then music so I just went on music I'll let's try and find something that I don't have on here yet let's try Far East Movement like a G6 so it comes up you just find your song you want double either double click or click it and press open and then that'll add that'll add it to this to here. And then all you have to do to find it, to find a new song, you just go in the search box. You can use the search box. So I just put like a G six, and then there it is. There's your song. Double click to play. I can't play it because I'll get done for copyright. But yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, so that's where all your music is. So you just keep adding music. And these are your different views. You can have it in this view here where it shows all your details. You can have it where you got a bit of album art. Let me find some album art for you. Da, 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 da. What's wrong with you? There we go. Look, album art, Wretch 3 2 there. There we go. Album art. So to get album art, all you do is you select a song. Let's get a song. Um, let's get this song here. Oh, that's already got it. Let's find one that doesn't have. There we go. Look, Rihanna. This song here. It doesn't have any album art, as you can see. So. Oh no, that one isn't going to work. Let's try a better one. Let's try a better one. Okay, this one already has album art, but we'll just change it for the purposes of the video. So you go to artwork here, and then you can delete, I'll just delete this one just to show you. So then what you do is you go to your pictures, you go to search in, um, search in, let's just find, let's just find a picture. Look, we could use any of these pictures, just use this picture here just for this. Look, you can change the size of it as well if you like, but there's no point just have it big if, if I were you you click OK and then whenever you click on this picture there's your album art right in that corner there you can make that bigger that changes when the song changes anyway, yeah that's that view and then you've got this view this is my first personal favorite you can it's just the albums you can change the size quite big quite small you can change between albums artists genres composers etc composers there's no real point really I just have um, artists mainly and then this will just have the artist and um, if you roll your mouse o over the um, artist then it will come up with the album art and then double click and it will show you all the albums these little these little exclamation marks that's because these have been deleted when you add stuff then these these aren't there normally it's just because I've I've deleted all this all these songs off the computer so it's like it's trying to if I, it's trying to find it, it could not be used because it, the original file cannot be found so all you have to do is just locate and then find it on here but yeah I'm not bothered about that anyway I don't want it anyway anyway yeah that's that 
that's that. And then this one, this one, this is cool as well. You could just scroll to all your music like this. You could even have it full screen. I suppose this is good for like parties and stuff. Especially have a touch screen to computer, you could just touch where you want, whatever you want. You could scroll it like this. Anyway, that's a cool view. I like that one. Okay, now you got all your films as well. Films are similar. Films are just in here. You can just add films the same way. File, add file to library or folder. And then you just double click them to play. And then we got TV programs. These are mainly ones you downloaded, or you can. I can you can download them off iTunes from the iTunes store here or you can either do that one second or you can just um, download them off like iPlayer or whatever and put them on there here's your podcasts any podcasts you want you just go to iTunes store and these are most of these are free to be honest the podcasts and there's some video ones or there's like radio one anything you want good to listen to like if you're on a long train or journey or whatever and then you get books you can download books of course these are these are audio books. These ones, and you got all the apps. If you got an iPhone or an iPod to Touch, then you can have apps. Even an iPod, I suppose. And then all you do is you just um, when when you plug your iPod in, it pops up here. It'll say um, devices, and it'll say your iPod, and you can na change the name of your iPod. Anyway, yeah, and then you just click on that, and then you just uh, there's an app section in that, and you just click it, and then decide which apps you want. And then of course you got the radio. Like you can have all all different types of radio. These are like all free. Just double click them to play. Wow, that was loud. Sorry about that. Here's the iTunes store. I'll just show you this quickly that you can you could browse through music, films, TV programs, the app store where you get all your apps from. The book section. Or of course you could just search. Okay, we have only got 10p. You could just search, let's say we want to find let's find that let's find that album that I deleted earlier. Let's search for it. Big L. Let's see if it'll come up. There we go. Look, there's the album. There's the album I needed. Now you can just go. Um, you can go buy album, or you can you can do all these different things. Send, tell it to a friend, share it on Facebook, or you can just you can download individual songs, or you can just play play a sample if you click this little little um play play icon next to it also it says like um different ones that people who bought this liked as well so it's probably stuff that you'll like if it's if you're on an album you like these are likely to be ones that you like too it's like suggestions and there's all your ratings and reviews etc that's my phone going off anyway um the itunes match i haven't actually used this i'm not actually sure what that is store Oh, it means you can use it from other computers. I see. P ping, iTunes ping. I've never used it. It's like the, um, it's like a social network where you can share music with um, other people around the world, etc. This is all your pu purchase music's in here. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, this is where all your um, music that you bought off the iTunes store. And this is this is off the iPod. Well, when I had my iPod, my iPod's gone up now. Got sat on. Never mind. This is um, music that I've bought off the iPod on the iTunes store. Genius is quite cool. Okay, Genius is, you go, let's just go on this one. You find a song you like, let's go this one, let's go this song here, and then you press this little um, atom button down here, and it'll find, it'll find all similar songs, songs that are similar to that, and then you can just start playing, oh I can't, I can't play this. You start playing a song, and then all these songs, it like shuffles them throughout your whole library to find songs that are similar. So you have like a good, a good mixture. This is all kind of like rocky songs because that's Thin Lizzy. Anyway, Genius Mixers. This is cool. Like, um, it takes genres. Hey, yeah, what's going on? Okay. Genius Mixers. This is cool. It shows you like all the different, um, all the different. What is it? Genres you have, that's it. Genres like hip hop mix, it gets all your hip hop and puts it in one big mix. Oh god, and same with like it, it's got all weird stuff. Urban crossover, I don't even know what that is. iTunes DJ is cool as well, it just it just shuffles shuffles the music. Like, so you, you definitely play ones that you haven't played anyway. This is all like different playlists that it automatically makes, and you can make your own playlist. To make a playlist, you go file, new playlist, 
and then you can call it whatever you like let's call it YouTube demo let's call it that okay this has got nothing in it so what you do is you go to get to get music in it you just go music find some songs let's let's put all these songs on there so you right you right, you can either click and drag them oh 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 it's a bit awkward or you can just go right click add to playlist then find your playlist and click it now if you scroll down to YouTube demo all your music's in there now to shuffle songs all you do is you you can either play you press play I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn the volume down so you play songs playing and then you just press this one here shuffle on or off and then if you if you skip songs it will shuffle look we cry and then it goes to oh is it working oh my gosh it isn't working well that's that's not good why you not work anyway that is how you shuffle this is how you change the volume I don't know why that isn't working it's worked every other time this is um this is just to repeat songs you click it once to repeat um the whole playlist once or click it twice to just play that song over and over this one here is to get rid of this album artwork here one second let's click on this um, let's get one with it there we go let's see that arm artwork there and you click it and it goes down well there's no real point in that and then you can, you can click and drag this oh are you gonna work are you gonna work friend are you gonna work friend you have got the JPEG there. You can just do that if you like. Don't really see the point in that, but it might be a bit of fun. Um, what else can I show you? I think that's it at the moment. But um, if you have any questions, don't be don't be scared to uh, send me a message, and I'll um, I'll try and cover them in another video. But I think that's basically the gist of iTunes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate rate and like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye.